welcome to the show. Outlier Show, your host Rizwan Rashid is here tonight with an, another outlier. With COVID-19, uh, you know, holding us back in self-isolation and social distancing, we might have been looking after different ways in order to, to get fit, to feel better, to move better, and of course, like me, lose some weight. There's no one else. There's no one else in my circle who is better than telling you, sharing you, inspiring you to do something with your life and nutrition and getting fit every single day. And that personality, my friend, is Alka Sharma, who is making waves in the fitness world with her unique style and, you know, in, in, in a healthy lifestyle, but, you know, it doesn't it's not uh, right away. It actually came from a challenging beginning, but reaching to accomplish a, a real tra trailblazer in my eyes. She has a three passions with da dance, kickboxing, and exercise, and she is giving inspiration to women all across the globe. She's an author, an author of an amazing book, From Cocoon to CEO. Please welcome. Alka Sharma. Welcome to the show, Alka. Thank you, Riz. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be on your show, and I'm so truly grateful uh, to be on your show again today. Amazing. You are amazing. I know we've been talking uh, at all different levels, and every time I hear you speak, uh, give your uh, you know perspective, you always deliver and you always inspire other people. So there's no other great platform to share your expertise, your inspiration to the people who are looking for to be out there because in my opinion outliers are the people who are living on the outskirt of human potential doing something amazing and you have done this in your life uh, one of the previous show it was there so let's let's talk about outliers and uh, for the benefit of show i always ask this question tell us how do you describe yourself as an outlier absolutely wow that is an amazing question Riz. So what I would say that how I would describe as being an outlier and as we know is that being an outlier, being on the outskirts and how as an entrepreneur, we actually, we actually deliver and impact humans, uh, humankind and how we impact in society. So for me as an entrepreneur, living on the outskirts means that how am I impacting my community? How am I impacting my clients every single day? And as entrepreneurs, that's what it takes. What does it take to be an entrepreneur in our own right, as we know? Being entrepreneurs is, are we going that extra mile? What are we doing? How are we positioning ourselves? And that is the key. And that to me, is what being an outlier truly means. It's the inspiration, it's the motivation, it's the everything combined together that makes us being on the outskirts of an outlier, it truly means what is our mission, what is our purpose and how we're living and showing up every single day. Beautiful, boom. Folks, if you are listening, you must have already got so inclined to listen to this girl who is actually a student of Les Brown. And Les Brown talk a lot about Alka Sharma, and I'm sure you're gonna hear a lot more to her. For the benefit, for everybody want to be successful, Alka. Everybody want to know how to become successful, but they always have one opportunity that kind of started that whole momentum trajectory of their success. What was your first opportunity? So my first opportunity to actually reach to the success, to reach to the level that I truly wanted. And that for me, when goes back to my journey, like when I, I was going through a bad breakup, when I was going through that turmoil that most of us face, but that for most of us, we don't know which is the direction that we want to go. We don't even know how we're going to make it for our tomorrows. Mm -hmm. But for me, that wasn't the choice. For me, my choice, and I knew at that moment, 
where were my, what, my, what my life was truly going to be like. And I held on to that. So, you know, I had that roadmap. I already figured out that, you know, the vision that I had was to live a life of greatness, to live a life that I truly wanted and desired. So that first opportunity came to me when I had the vision of to open my own fitness studio. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, I was in the fashion industry. I was as a buyer. And although my life was glamorous, I was, you know, attending fashion events, meet, meeting with designers and models and so on. It was beautiful, but it took a tall risk on my body. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking for that way out. And so in my dream, the vision that I had it came in my dream. So that opportunity was for me to really build myself. That opportunity was to really impact so many thousands of women's lives that I know of that, that touched mine. Mm -hmm. And so when I began to do that, and I, once I began to see that, that vision that was in plain sight, it truly meant the world to me how I was impacting, how I and how I'm still impacting thousands of women's lives because it all comes down to what is that mission, what is the purpose, and the opportunities that we have as entrepreneurs along the way to really hit home to our mission internally, what we're here to serve. And so when we have the opportunities, it's all about, you know, seizing that. It's all about uh, making every, every effort to really hone in and find, you know, the people that we really want to serve. And for me, it was my clients. And, you know, it's absolutely amazing. And it's a beautiful journey that I'm on because I, I get to touch their lives. Well, if uh, all the women who are listening, he can really relate to you because uh, definitely breakup is uh, is a really tough one to go through. Beard, uh, you know, embrace it and actually go to find new heights in your career and your life and professional life. So not only you turn around, you actually not only did good for yourself, but you're doing great for everyone else uh, in there. How did it? At that time, did you knew that uh, opening up this, uh, you know, fitness club, um, going back into this fitness industry, w do you think at that time you knew that it's going to change your life or trajectory? of? Absolutely. Um, so when I was working as a buyer, when I, you know, for a very major fashion house in the UK, and as I, you know, was working and, you know, it was a nine to five, the, it was glamorous, but it was taking a toll on my body. And I knew the calling was for me to be in the fitness industry. And that it just came to me in my vision. So then as I began to work out and so working out was one aspect, but then, you know, during that course of time, I had a lot of challenges, you know, I had a weight challenge, I lacked self-confidence, self-esteem in the body that I was truly in. And so mm -hmm. I wanted, a, I wanted a change. I desperately wanted to change. And so then I began working out. And as I, in the process, began working out, I was having fun. But not only that, I was seeing the results that I wanted to achieve. You know, so all of that came. And then during that course, one aspect of training led to another aspect of training, which came and opened to the world of Latin and ballroom dancing. Mm -hmm. So then through ballroom dancing, it, my self-esteem just rose so high. Ah. that Not only that, um, so my self-confidence, my self-esteem, well, my self-confidence pretty much was just hitting the roof because I was looking great. And then I reached the goals. I lost the weight. And then through dancing with the beautiful costumes, I was, <laughs> I was raised that Madam Butterfly because I had the freedom. I had the wings then to fly. And that was a beautiful moment in my time, the world of Latin ballroom dancing that just opened up to me and I was loving it because I was competing all around the, um, you know, doing circuits around different towns. 
Wow. See, you know, when, when you talk about that, uh, you were lack of, uh, you know, you were feeling challenged, you were lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, then you figure out what is going to give you that self-esteem, confidence, and, and, and get you out of it. That was ballroom dancing. Uh, so from ballroom dancing to fitness, uh, that's uh, quite a change or it's kind of a correlated within? Well, it actually is related because dance is a form of fitness. Yes. So then doing, so preparing, uh, so having going through one aspect of training, which was to like, you know, lose the weight, which was, you know, I had a personal trainer. So I was working out uh, to achieve my goals and I was hitting that. And once I began to hit and my goal was to really, um, you know, I was losing the weight. I was getting toned. I was, get, I was getting fit pretty much. So during the course of that, and I knew that there was so much more that I wanted to take up so many other classes. So kickboxing, then I loved kickboxing. And as women, kickboxing is wonderful for all the women out there. If you ever wanted to take up kickboxing, go ahead and do it because you're learning self-discipline it is a disciplined skill and it's a skill to have it's not to say that you you know you get certified today and you're going to maybe like you know go out there and do something no it's not that but it teaches you discipline and you have a skill for life so then that came res i was you know i got into kickboxing then i got certified and then opened up to dancing as well Wow, <laughs> you, you know that that's uh, that's amazing because uh, it truly an entrepreneur and a fully committed person who has a discipline of uh, achieving something in their life can figure out how do I connect that and and certainly this it was a test question for you Alka but you passed with flying numbers. <laughs> Let me ask you this, because everybody wants to be successful, because they look after you. Uh, I know a lot of women look after you, especially in the fi uh, fitness industry, especially in, in being author and presenter like yourself. What was the first thing you you done yourself in becoming an entrepreneur? What is the first thing you would suggest that you have done and others should do? So for me, Riz, being an entrepreneur, and as we know that the journey that we've taken on as, on as an entrepreneur is not an easy one. So for myself, when I decided that this was the role that I wanted to take on, this was an, you know, the journey that I said to myself, you know, having a business, having a boutique style fitness studio meant everything to me. Why? Because I get to serve so many other women. I get to serve thousands of women, helping them to claim back their health. And as we know, our health is our number one priority that we must never take for granted. So in during that, during that course of time, as I'm helping thousands of women, this role that I'm that I've taken on as an, an as an entrepreneur is not an easy one, but it's a road that as entrepreneurs we have is our responsibility to show up, and it's how we show up every single day, and it's how we are disciplined not only in our minds but disciplined in what it is that we are doing every single day in our jobs in our businesses. So as an entrepreneur, to me, that means that you have the skill set, you have the knowledge base, you have an expertise in your area, and we must shine that and show people that, okay, this is an example that we are setting for ourselves. This is an example that we have led. So other people, we, they need to so we need to inspire them that if this is a journey that you want to be on, well, this is how we have done it. So it's the milestones that we are showing to people. And that's exactly in my, in my position. I am showing that as an entrepreneur, although it's not an easy ride, but it is something that if you aspire to, other people are seeing that and they're watching that. And they want, and they will do the same as well. So it's about setting an example and it's about being disciplined, not only in yourself, but in the discipline that you want to set for other people as well. 
beautiful. You must have heard the word powerful, journey, uh, expertise and skill all throughout her conversation and actually she exhibit that powerful way of personality in order to tell you this. This is Alka Sharma, CEO of Total Alka Fitness. We have our guest, she exp explained to you how she became CEO from Cocoon. We'll be right back, we're going to take a short break and we'll, once we come back we're going to ask Alka what's her next venture, what she is doing, how she is helping, how we get connected with her. So keep watching Outlier Show, we'll be right back. Welcome back, Outlier Show, where we are meeting our Outlier of the Week, Alka Sharma, CEO of Total Fitness and the author of the book From Cocoon to CEO. She shared her life story, the trajectory of her life with a powerful journey that she actually, from struggle, becoming an inspiration. Here's Alka. Alka Sharma, welcome back. Hi, thank you, Riz. Welcome to come. Yeah, it's great to be back. Yes, awesome. Uh, you know, Alka, talk about the, the, you know, when did you start seeing success, growth, uh, the progress when you open up uh, this uh, to Alka Total Fitness or from the ballroom dancing, you incorporate everything. When did you really start seeing success? Oh, wow. You know, for me, Riz, success was, it was, it was imminent. And what I mean by that is after the, after I found the freedom in my life and for mm -hmm. a long time, for a long time, ladies and gentlemen, I was, so what the cocoon, what that actually means is that I was in, I was in like a ball yeah. and I was sheltered. I was not allowed to you know, go places, do things that I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And so for me, that that's what I meant by cocoon. So then when I got the freedom to actually then to do what I want to do in the sense that, you know, follow my passions and follow the mission that I was on this earth to do, then things just pretty much opened up. And that was after, well, actually during my dance you know career uh -huh. so during, during the competitions i was you know as we were doing the circuits going through going from one city to another competitions was my way of life but competitions oh. but competitions riz was also gave me the recognition and let's face it riz who does not want recognition we all yeah. do we all pray for that yeah. And so I was getting recognition from the judges, from my peers, and every way, you know, because at dancing is a very small community where people get to know each other from one of the competitions you were doing. It's so beautiful. And so I was getting recognition. And that was, that became my love and that became my joy. And so having that freedom, then now, opening up a boutique fitness studio was a huge leap but was a leap in the faith that i had that yes i could do it and i could do it and also have and inspire and aspire other women to really claim what it is that they are meant to do on this lifetime what is their purpose what is their mission Beautiful, powerful, and inspiring Alka talking about it. Alka, now I really wanted to know what is he up to because COVID-19 probably have uh, dampened the, the, the normal business of Alka Fitness. So you probably have developed, pivoted to, to different ideas because I know you are a true resilience entrepreneur. So you figure out something else. So what is up to Alka Total fin Fitness these days? Right. Well, you know what, as, as entrepreneurs and as business owners, COVID-19 came unexpectedly for most of us. Yeah. And now that we're in this pandemic, there was a, there's a huge shift that needs to happen. And so it's up to us as entrepreneurs to figure that out. And for us, since the studio is closed, we are doing online. So uh -huh. we are shifting 
And we're not waiting around, you know, for the studio to open and say, okay, when the studio opens, I'm going to start my classes. No, we have already started to figure that out. And mm -hmm. we are shifting to online. And okay. we have a class that's happening this Sunday, which is Zumba. We're having that on June the 28th at 2 p.m. Zumba Ooh, is the first Zumba. class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spicy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so we have to shift and pivot to what the circumstances are that's happening right now, and which is COVID. And so COVID has allowed us to shift online, do all classes online, coaching online. I've got my coaching program happening. So is that pivot. So it's able to be also as entrepreneurs to be able to be adapted, ad adaptable to the circumstances that you're in. Uh-huh, that's so true. Uh, so folks, especially girls, women, ladies, if you are listening to us right now, uh, you already have figured it out. Alta Alka is an amazing person. She is the true inspiration who's helping other people to live their life of their dreams and, and have that unleashing their power. I mean, I wrote so many notes for myself already. I'm sure you have written down those notes because those are going to really make that turn. How they can connect with you, how they can reach out to you, how they can get to these uh, Zumba classes, the spicy ones. Yes. So, um, so, so two things. So how to get in touch with me, you can go to my website. Uh, you can get in touch with me, um, you know, on the website, you know, uh, via, uh, Twitter, Instagram, I'm always available for any comments. Um, you know, so that's how you can get in touch with me. And then if you are interested in dance is dancing is something that is your passion then I will, and you're looking to lose weight, then Zumba is actually the perfect exercise. Now, did you know, ladies and gentlemen, that during that one hour of Zumba class, you burn a hundred calories. Truly oh. quite amazing. It's a hundred oh. calories you can burn in that one hour. Okay. I recommend to all my clients, if you're looking to lose weight, to get toned, to get fit, Zumba is your one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. So come, we have a class this coming Sunday, June the 28th at 2 p.m. So mm -hmm. if you have a love of dance and you love Zumba, you've done Zumba before, we would love to welcome you and have you and meet with you as well. If you were to describe an outlier in your community, in your tribe, in your within your students, the people who you help with, would you be able to describe without any names, any person who really through you took that opportunity, joined within, uh, they were down, and now they are the outlier making something totally different? Absolutely, Riz. I have so many of my clients, like, I, you know, I see them like, through their trajectories, through their processes, through their journey, when they first come into the studio, they they have lacked the energy. They are so, uh, you know, they've lacked the confidence. Mm -hmm. They have lacked in so many areas that, you know, they would come to me when we have the consultations. They will come to me, you know, they have lack of sleep. And, you know, uh, weight challenges too, Is that's a big one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But during the course, whilst they've been at the studio and they began working out, now the community, the, the studio is a, is, a, is a community's kind of feeling. And that's why, and that's the reason when I built the boutique style studio was because I wanted to make it a safe space for women to come and work out. Because I knew for me, when I was, when I took that courage to walk into a gym, a part of me didn't want to be there because there were all these fit body people. But then I listened to the other voice that said to me, Alka, wait a minute, didn't you say you wanted to change your life? And as I began to listen to that voice, now here today is my dream, a boutique studio. So what I would say for my clients who actually gone from how they were is to where they are and how they're showing up, they love the classes, they come every day. Seven days a week, I see them. And it's a joy to see them because it's a joy to be with them on their fitness journey. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful to do what I'm doing because I get to see them, how they are, to where they were, to how they are feeling and how they are going in the sense that they want to do more. 
oh, they want to do a handstand, for example. You know, so because they've built the strength, because they've built the inner strength and the inner confidence that allows them to take a sneak peek into other classes and doing other things that they thought were impossible. Because ladies and gentlemen, the mere word impossible is I am possible. Something to think wow. And you, you just like, like, you know, drop the mic. <laughs> this is amazing. Cocoon to see your book. In short, what is this all about and how this came into this? The title only, like this is amazing title. I have used this uh, word uh, several times already. Yes, you have. Well, the, the, the title of the book, From Cocoon to CEO, came about because, as I'd mentioned, was based off my journey and how, you know, when I was going through a breakup, I was in that cocoon stage. I was feeling isolated. I was, you know, traumatized, everything that I've gone through. And some people, you know, they can relate with what they go through. Any kind of adversity is a big trauma in their life. So for me, going through those feelings and being how I was, that was my cocoon stage because I was, I hadn't blossomed into a caterpillar. I wasn't, I, in no way was I a butterfly, but I was in this cocoon stage where I was just left there and to be made to feel small. So that's where the cocoon came about because I was not exactly in that metamorphosis stage yet. So I was, no, I hadn't even tried to figure things out. I was only in that stage where I was like in that shell shocked kind of, if you want to put it. So the cocoon to see, oh, and now I, my wings have flown. I, I'm a butterfly, um, a colored butterfly. So that's where the title of the book pretty much came about based on my own journey. Wow, wow, wow. You know, you, you have seen that humble and honest, uh, you know, the way she described herself as a cocoon and now with the wings and the colorful butterfly. And in, end, in the end, she nailed it. I'm here to serve. This is Alka Sharma, CEO of Alka Total Fitness. Uh, tonight, my guest, and I want to call you is an outlier because you are doing something amazing with positivity, encouragement and positivity actually in all the, uh, di direction and then giving other people hope and prosperity to look further. Uh, this is Outlier Show. Alka, it's been honor and privilege to have you on my show and share your life story with all of our audience who will be seeking out to you to find their resolution, their new way. And now with COVID-19, actually the world is open for you. You were uh, in Toronto, now you are across the world. By, by using that uh, media, you can uh, reach and achieve all the goals of yours and all everyone else. Well, Riz, I truly wanted to thank you for allowing me to be on your show. It's, it's a tr great honor, and I'm so privileged uh, to be on your show today. So thank you for that. Thank you, folks. Until next time, you are an outlier. You just need to find one within you. Take the opportunity and capitalize on it. Until next time, see you then.